Okay, the auction is over. Everyone has their ENS name, and now they might want to point it to their address and do a couple other things with it. Come over to ens.domains instead of .coms, .domains. Scroll down. Click here, you can register a new name, or you can manage the names that you already have, but this takes you to the same spot. Let's click on a name that somebody already owns. Nick is obviously taken. And it's gray here on the left-hand side, unavailable. You want to click on one that you know is open. It's green on the side, and it is available. You can click on this, and you can buy it. You go through one MetaMask transaction, and you can see that you've done one step. The second step is to confirm a second MetaMask transaction, and once it's done that, you are finished, and you own the name. And now let's click on one that I own. When your address is signed into MetaMask and you click on this right here, it will see that you own it. You can see that it's chrisbell.eth. I also own that one, which turns out blue. So, bell, and you click on it, and you can manage it. You can see this is my address here. I am the registrant, which means I own it on the blockchain. I am the controller, which means that this address has control. I can give control oops, to another address if I wanted to. If I gave control to a different address, I would still be the registrant, which is still me on the blockchain, and then I would give control to somebody else, maybe lease it out for a little while so they can point it to their name and, I don't know, run an ICO or run a project for a little while and then give it right back. But um, once I do that, I can change this at any time. You just click set right here and you change the address and if you run a transaction and you're good to go. Um, then you can also renew anybody Anybody that you do not have to own this bell can come here and renew this for the next registration Which will go out one more year and depending on how many characters long this which is uh, four It would be about 0.8 ether right now to renew this for one more year Like I said anybody can come and renew this. It doesn't matter if you own it or not uh, The third thing you can do is set up a resolver so what you want to do is click on set resolver here and use public so there'll be a button here that says use public and it will put this resolver this weird address in here this is just a contract to show what to do when it when something comes into the contract once you do that and it goes through one metamask transaction it will change this address here it looks like it's not pointing to you i know if you don't understand this that well and then come down here and the record is this address so ddd364 and you can see that the registrant is ddd364 those two should match if you own the name and you click on it and it's blue like this on the side you own this name this should match not the resolver right here it should match the address in the record down here as you can see and that is set up right so one transaction to set the public and second transaction to set your address right here and there's a few other things that you can do but i will leave that for another video I wanted to also talk about a subdomain. So you can make a subdomain. This is actually kind of cool because once you make the subdomain, yeah, sure, I can make a chris.bell and that will point to me as well. But if I make chris.bell, did I already set this resolver? No, I haven't, so nice. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to actually send this subdomain to another address, which I already own. So I'm going to just go up here. And instead of my name, I'm going to type in my daughter's name. This is her address. I just put a little bit of stuff in here for her once in a while. So I'm going to change the controller, not the registrant, the controller of chris.bell. From my name, I mean my Ethereum address, to hers. And the whole point of this, is you can see the, the reverse is set up as well. It shows her name right here. I didn't have to type it in that way. It could have just gone like this. And it pops up the address. So that's pretty cool. Once you set the resolver, like I said, the public first, and then you put your address in. Right underneath that, it will say, set up the reverse resolver, and that will set it up automatically for you, which does exactly what I just did. I went and typed in, I copied this address, and I pasted it down here, 
And once I did that, you saw that it popped up the lily dot, uh, the lily bell dot eth because that's the reverse resolver. I typed in the address first and that popped up so you can see how it's the reverse. Okay, that went through. So I sent it over to this 1693 address and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to switch addresses in my MetaMask. I have a second address that I set up, which is very easy. Just open up a new account and you have a new address. This is the one right here, 1693, you can see. So now I'm in there and I am the one who is in control of this. I am the controller. So now I can set this resolver if I want to right here. I'll just go for it. Use public, like I said, and it shows up this address right here. This is the same address every single time. It should always show up just like that. Click save. You'll run a MetaMask transaction. And once that goes through, you will have uh, the first part set up. And then I'm going to come over here and see if this can happen at the same time. Now add a subdomain of a subdomain. So I'm going to create Lily. Click save. My other transaction just went through. I could see down here. So I'll go back to that while I'm waiting for this. So now I'm going to have a lily dot chris dot bell dot eth. <laughs> Let's go back to details. This should be set up. I'm going to just refresh. Okay, the resolver is set up. Now I come down here, click on this, click on set address, type in her address, which I can also type in lily dot bell. Ba boom. So now chris.bell.eth is going to forward to this address here. I'll click save. Another MetaMask transaction. The last one went through, so I can go back to that right after this. Save that. Come back over to subdomains while this transaction is pending. And when I come back, my address 1693 should be showing right here. Subdomains. Oh, my new subdomain, lily.chris.bell.eth. This is probably more difficult than using an actual ethereum address but <laughs> it's kind of funny that just resolved done so now 1693 this should still happen for chris dot bell dot eth because i just resolved that to 1693 shabam you can see that this is the blockchain you come here and you can click on this and now i can come back and go and resolve if I want to lily.chris.bell.eth and it's not resolved to anything right now but I am in full control of that subdomain if I wanted to click on it right here and start doing the same process over which I won't put you through that again but set the resolver set your address you can pick a different address if you want to uh, it is very cool good luck out there